tonight. It's Madden NFL Football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. and the New Orleans Saints taking on Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers, the AFC champion, taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, excited for this one. I mean, Charles, the Steelers back in the Super Bowl once again, their ninth appearance overall, second only to the Patriots' 11. But if the Steelers win this one, then they'd be on top of the all-time win standings as it would be their seventh title. What a franchise. Come on, join me for a minute, okay? Come back to the 1970s with me. Back to the Steel Curtain defense. Back to Terry Bradshaw, quarterback. Throwing to Lynn Swan and John Stallworth. Franco Harris running the football with Rocky Blyer. That team was something, all right? And that started the path to where we are right here, right now. This team's pretty good, too. And they want their own history? What an accomplishment this would be to win a seventh Super Bowl title for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And meanwhile, for the New Orleans Saints, you know, this is a team that's been one of the elites in the NFL the last few years with a legacy of success in the regular season. But then you think about the last three postseasons, you had the Minneapolis miracle with Stephon Diggs go against them, and then we all remember the pass interference no call against the Rams and follow that last season with a home loss to Minnesota. But this time, Charles, they finally made it. And that litany of losses that you just recited, that just buckled me, but it didn't buckle this team. You just mentioned three years in a row, crushing losses, disappointment, and some of it wasn't their own fault. But they moved past it, and they've gotten here again. Other teams, they might have fallen apart. Not this one. They've got here, and now they got a chance to raise the Lombardi Trophy one more time. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. James Washington was the intended target. And now it's second down. It's second down and 10. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that would pretty much seal the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison of the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall them all. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 34. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 34-yard line. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. 
And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan wreaking havoc with a sack. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Of 11 yards. It's fourth down. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. The all-pro Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now we see quarterback Drew Brees in his New Orleans offense set to go on attack here for the first time. When you think of accuracy, you might as well think of Drew Brees because he owns five of the six best completion percentages in a single season in NFL history, and it feels like he's done them all in five of the last six seasons. Like Tom Brady, he thinks he can go until he's at least 45, loves playing the game, takes great care of his body, and despite missing five games of the thumb injury last year, showed his toughness and came back and threw 27 touchdown passes against just four interceptions. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Six-nothing our score after one. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. There's Breeze. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The Pro Bowler Michael Thomas was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now Breeze, eluding the pressure right. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle, no running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. So the signal caller doing it himself there on the two-point try. You got to like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players. But most of the time, you want to get it to a back, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. 
Here's Kareth White on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 27. Yard. James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. The completion good, this is Eric Ebron. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now a pass is taken in by Smith-Schuster. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Roethlisberger. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls. Record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Jordan Here's Barry Jordan Berry now. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining Jordan in the first Barry half. Here's Jordan Berry now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. A couple yards on that one. And they're going to be steering third and long here. On third and long, it's Breeze. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They run, it's Camaro, And this is gonna come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again at Super Bowl 54. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Take over first and 10. At their own. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. 
brought down. Stephon Tuitt, the one that got him down. No gain if this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Now Breeze on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. So here we go on fourth down with Breeze. Throws right side, and that's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. On first down, Murray. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Breeze now on first down. And this is Cook with a grab. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Breeze now on first down. That's complete to his running back, Camara. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. It's a gain of five, and it'll bring up a second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a middle of the game. The quick slant caught, and he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. First and goal at the two-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Breeze to throw again. Looking for Thomas, he's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Saints add on to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Here's White. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? first and so now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Johnson. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. 
That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this now third and 11 after that second down completion actually went back a yard. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. 30, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Will Lutz. Pick so they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, here's White. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just a... And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. Now Ben on third and long. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. He finds his man, Johnson. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Second and five. To throw again is Roethlisberger toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target, and it's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Ben to throw again. And that will be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. But it's brought in by Washington. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. No gain, and it's second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. His throw caught at about the five. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. The Steelers were last in the NFL in red zone touchdown percentage a season ago, down around 35%. It's first and goal. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the bayou. The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champions.
And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.